All right, we're back. It's been, Hello, everyone. It's been like a week. It's been like two weeks since we've done this. It's been like a week since you've had an episode. Mm-hmm. Feeling good. Actually, we're not. <laughs> we're going to pretend that we are. All right, so we are going to play a game that we've actually played before on reserve seating in print form. Uh, mm-hmm. And that is, what do we call this? Ticket stub time machine? No, that was something else. We have a lot of gimmicks. This is okay. just um, Rob pulls his old movie tickets okay. and then it's <laughs> icebreakers to talk about them. So Got it's it. like movie stub speed dating. Sort of. Yeah, we're mixing it up here. So I have a bag of ticket stubs. I used to be very, back when you got ticket stubs, I used to be very, very into keeping my ticket stubs. Uh, I have mm. another bag for concerts and this is my movie bag. This is probably every movie I saw from... I'd say like probably like 2002 to like 2007 ish. Um, okay. There's probably uh, some more recent stuff in there too. There's might be a mix of stuff. Uh, most of these movies, by the way, uh, uh, seen at the Dear, Depa- uh, Dear Departed McDade Mall AMC. Uh, I'm repping the McDade Mall for those who know the Philly suburbs. Uh, the Dear Departed McDade Mall, no longer there. It's a strip mall now, but it used to have. At AMC, where I saw most of the movies I saw as a as a young a youngling. So I'm gonna pull. Would you, would you say that the best view of Hollywood is from the McDade Mall? The best view of Hollywood is from the McDade Mall. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna pull uh, some random stubs. Nice. What are talking about? The first one. Wait, Adam, would it guess what I was seeing if I give you the date? You think you could do that? I think so. Because... All right. Uh, oh. Okay uh 7 o'clock p.m friday may 17th 2002 spirit stallion of the cimarron <laughs> no uh attack of the clones 2002 what attack was of the clones attack of the clones there we go attack of the clones now i saw phantom menace six times okay i saw it one or i saw it one and a half times in theaters i want to say i saw attack of the clones twice I think there's I saw Attack of the another... Clones twice. I think I saw Revenge of the Sith three times. Attack of the Clones is like not a good movie, but I kind of like have a lot of affection, mm-hmm. um, nostalgia wise, for like early two thousands blockbusters yeah. because they were all like IHOP movies where it's like you watch it and they're a mess and there's a lot to unpack at an IHOP afterwards with your friends. That for was, us, like, was, yeah, for us it was Denny's, but I know what you mean. Yeah, it was like because we didn't have podcasts or yeah. youtube shows like this is how we did it the whole point was like go to a movie and then go out at midnight to a denny's or an ihop and talk about it with your friends yep. um okay uh 9 35 p.m on monday uh this was april 14th of 2003 this is a comedy starring you two see, icons did you see anger management anger management I'm go- I'm pretty impressed that I pulled that one. I'm really impressed that you pulled that. <laughs> that was a movie where I was just like, well, surely, like, th- like Sandler was kind of on a dry run comedy wise. Like he did have Punch Drunk Love the year before. Yeah. But like he was in like Mr. Deeds and like a few other ones that were pretty bad yeah. uh, leading up to anger management. And I remember thinking, I'm just like, well, he's got some heat now because of like Punch Drunk Love and he's with Nicholson. So that's got to elevate this like quite a bit. And I was expecting it to be at least like what funny people ended up being, where it's just like, well, it's ambitious. And it's like, no, like Nicholson played down to his competition. <laughs> like, this, this is not good. All right. 9.40 p.m. on Friday, January 10th, 2003. Okay. This is just a- married? <laughs> oh, my God. It's just, it's just <laughs> married, folks. I'm not I remember, to you. He's really doing this. I remember that because I went to see Just Married on opening night also with my girlfriend from college, and we got into two giant fights that night. Mm. One was because I wanted to see 25th Hour, and she wanted to see Just Married, and I was about to go back to school in Indiana, where like we didn't get a movie like 25th Hour for like three more months. Right. So I'm like, if I don't see it t- this weekend, I'm not going to see it till April. And that's actually what ended up happening. And then also, she asked me if I wanted to travel internationally because of Just Married being like kind of like a cross country vacation movie, honeymoon movie. And I said, I don't know, it's not really something that interests me that much. And granted, I was like 21 years old. 
And she was just like, I don't think I can be with somebody who like doesn't want to travel internationally. And that caused this giant fight. So thanks, Just Married. <laughs> After that, you were not married. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, okay. All right. So I have this one. This is from AMC, I think still does this. But in 2007, my friends and I, uh, probably for about three or four years in a row before and after that. I don't remember when we started, when we stopped, but we went to see the AMC Best Picture Showcase. Uh, back when mm -hmm. there was just five nominees every year, you would start at like 11 o'clock and they would show all the Best Picture nominees. So I have here a stub from 11 a.m. on Saturday, February 24th, 2007, which would have been right before. The okay. Year. So it was 2006 uh, it's, movies. It's 2006 movies. Do you think you could give me the 2006 Best Picture nominees? Yeah, because it was only five nominees right. because they didn't change to up to 10 until 2009. Yes. So 2006 would have been The Departed, yep. Babel, Letters from Iwo Jima. Um, let's see. This one was mentioned on the last show with JB last week. Little Miss Sunshine. Little Miss Sunshine. And okay. That was the one I wasn't sure of entirely. And then 2006. Oh, boy. Um, Very Oscar-y bait. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I don't know the last one. The Queen. Oh, yeah. I would have never guessed Queen. that unless you said, like, Stephen Frears or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. Queen. All right. Yeah. So this one, 10.20 p.m. on Friday, September the 10th, 2004. All right. Um, Resident Evil Apocalypse. <laughs> I was going to do a whole thing. I was like, all right, tell me which Resident Evil it is. No, I remember seeing that opening night, too. Don't yeah. got to do it. Don't got to do it. Oh, ooh, Adam. Oh, Adam. Okay. 10 o'clock p.m. Sunday, July 4th, 2004. Still one of them. Oh, Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 2, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Well, of course, everybody was seeing that. All right. Well, it's Fourth of July week. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. A couple more. Um, oh, here you go. All right. Uh, 10.20 p.m. on Friday, July 16th, 2004. iRobot. Uh, go the counter-programming for iRobot. Oh. What was the counter-programming for iRobot? Um, was it like a chick talk, flick type movie? We talked Just Married before. Oh, was it Little Black Book? Not Little Black Book. Was it's it a little... Brittany Murphy movie? No. Oh, okay. It's, it's heavier. It's a little bit more it's got a sad ending. The Notebook? Notebook. Okay. Well, that came out in June, so that's... Oh, really? That, yeah, that one threw me off. You, oh, you okay. saw that's the little end of the run. Yeah. Okay. I forgive you, Rob. Um, okay. Uh, all right, here we go. Do you like the notebook? I don't remember the notebook. I'm sure if I watched it, I would find things to like. And not I remember it. liking it, but I that's one of those movies where I couldn't separate, do I just love Rachel McAdams? And yeah. this is a movie that also loves Rachel McAdams, <laughs> or is this good? All right, 10, 15 p.m. on Friday, December the 10th, 2004. A movie that I like and no one else does. Ocean's Twelve. Ocean's Twelve. I'm getting my mojo back. This is fun. I think, I think Ocean's Twelve's freaking good movie. Fucking I French New Wave all the way, baby. Yeah, I I rewatched that around the same time I rewatched Ocean's Eleven last year, and um, I liked it a little bit more than I used to. But yeah, it's still not quite my movie. But yeah. It's really fun. yeah. All right, 7.30 p.m. on Wednesday, July 18th, 2001. This is a movie I was weirdly excited for. Okay. Video games. July 18th, 2000, Final Fantasy, The Spirits Within. Final Fantasy, The Spirits Within. Yeah. I just watched that for the first time last year because it was its 20th anniversary. And it's, uh, I, I was distracted by how, like, the guy looked like Ben Affleck, but he had Alec Baldwin's voice. <laughs> and also kept saying, like, not Awa, but it was, like, something that sounded like Awa. And it was, like, the same thing as Avatars. Awa, oh, yes, so. yes. The uh, world building is similar, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
All right, let's end on a good one. Let's end on. All right, let's end on this one. Okay. 7.15 p.m. Monday, August 5th, 2002. Monday, August 5th, you Monday. saw um, Triple X. You saw Signs. Signs. Yeah. Ooh, yes. Ooh, 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 Ooh. Yeah. Signs rules. Signs rules. Yeah. I appreciate you carrying me this episode. Thank you, sir. <laughs> You're fine. Um, we will be back next week with the first of our June exploitation celebration, um, celebrating Western's Day. So we will. Uh, we have not yet selected our our features, but. It's going to be exciting, and we want them the video to have more views than the last Highlander, the source one. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> so, I saw signs. I saw signs twice at two different theaters. Oh, good. Yeah, it, oh, signs is the best. Yeah, signs rules. Yeah, yeah, signs rules. All right. So until next time, these seats are reserved. Giddy up. Woo!